Hey y'all, so this is my recipe for my super salad. I'm gonna try to do this voiceover in one fail swoop take. So let's get started. I am dicing up some boneless skinless chicken breast and in a minute you will see me weighing it out to make sure I can track it properly. This came out to 485 grams of chicken. I'm seasoning it with a tablespoon each of Tabitha Brown's very good garlic seasoning and her sunshine seasoning, and then a teaspoon of Slappy Mama, as well as maybe a tablespoon or two of olive oil. I let this sit in the fridge for about half an hour just to get it lightly marinated. I've sprayed this pan. It's on medium-high heat with some Pam. I did have to turn it down to medium heat. I'm pressing all the chicken pieces down when I put them in there because I want them to kind of get a crust on them. After letting them cook for about three minutes, I did flip each piece over and let them cook for another two minutes. After two more minutes, I went ahead and removed all the pieces of chicken from the skillet. I rinsed it out, added some more Pam, and put the last batch of chicken in there. Press it down, same process. We want to get that crust on there just to deepen the flavor. Now in this mixing bowl, I'd have to guess there's about six cups of kale. This is chopped kale that I get from Target. I went ahead and removed all the stem pieces from it. I've added two tablespoons of lemon juice, a tablespoon of olive oil and salt, and I massaged it for probably five minutes. It wasn't enough salad base for me, or so I thought, so I went ahead and chopped up about a quarter of a head of iceberg lettuce. This is two socks of celery that I'm cutting on a bias. This is one small cucumber. It's not a mini cucumber, but it is a small cucumber. Again, I'm also cutting it on a bias and towards the thicker end, I do cut it in half before cutting it on a bias just because I want all the pieces to be a similar size. I do like chopped salads. I like my salad bits really small. This is the last four green onions that I had in the fridge. I've already cleaned them, taken off any wilty leaves, and I'm cutting them on a bias. I had to cut them a little bit smaller because they were coming out kind of big. This is about a cup of grape tomatoes that I just cut in half. And then finally, I have two hard-boiled eggs that I'm slicing and then cutting down the middle just because I don't really like having whole rings of egg in my salad. And this right here is just me trying to tweak my vinaigrette recipe. I haven't made it in a while. It ends up being four tablespoons of mayonnaise, three tablespoons of apple cider vinegar, one tablespoon of sugar-free honey, two teaspoons of garlic powder, a heavy dash of salt, heavy dash of pepper, probably about half a teaspoon to a teaspoon of Slap Your Mama seasoning, half a teaspoon of stevia, and a tablespoon of Dijon mustard. I'm gonna go ahead and pop the ingredients up on the screen. All right, and this is just a pretty shot of the salad. I did crumble up two ounces of plain goat cheese in here. As I'm pinching it off, I was trying to roll it in little balls. This is a handful, so about a quarter cup of pecans that I chopped up. This is the chicken go on top of the salad. And then finally, we're gonna to top it with about 80% of that dressing. Finally, it's time to mix and serve. This was a huge salad, so I'd say this makes about six large servings. Thanks for watching. This salad was delicious. Let me know if you give it a try. Bye.